Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Beautiful morning for cabin building. Uh, we slept out here last night. Caitlin just catching up on a bit more beauty sleep. And I'm scribing this front log. This is gonna be the front sill log of the cabin. The big windows will go up here. And we're just gonna bring down two inches to just lower this log into the floor joist a little bit. There'll be a second log on top and then the vertical posts. And then in this corner, there'll be the perpendicular log that's gonna sit between this log and the log that goes above it. This is what cabin building dream is all about. Beautiful spring day, birds are singing, wood smoke fire in the air, wind blowing, keeping away the black flies. This is good.
It's good. Hello. That's okay. That's better. It's better than having too big of a gap. So now we can really see uh, where we can mark with some charcoal or it's rubbing. And we'll just cut that area down and we just keep fitting it, keep marking it. This one's starting to go down a bit. down see how it fits. That feels good. Yeah. Yeah, a little more work to do, but I want to see one. Wow. Almost there. Yeah. I think it's good enough. We can call it a day. Yeah, what are your thoughts so far on the cabin building process? You seem to be... I love it. Yeah. 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 It's a lot... It takes time. It's a lot slower than people might think. But that's <laughs> the beauty of it. Um, I, don't, I don't want it to end. I don't want, exactly. to, I don't want to rush through it. Um, and we're going to be like looking at these 
describes our entire life, so it's, we want to make sure that it's to our standards. Exactly. It takes time. Yeah. Um, to do it, to do it well, and. And it's not fun if you have to rush. No. Like taking your time and doing it perfect is where I get the enjoyment out of it. Yeah. If it felt like if you had to rush and it felt like a job and there was deadlines, then there would be no pleasure in this. So <laughs> take your time, enjoy the process. Cheers. Thanks for Cheers your hard to work today. <laughs> I'm going to get ripped mm -hmm. by summer. Look at these. Wow, look at those. <laughs> Okay. How's an office coming? I'm ready to shoot. Your favorite job? Yeah. Is that your favorite job or do you like to act? I like to be.
So it's been about three weeks since we started this video. This weekend, Caitlin's at home. She's working on her garden and I'm just out here prepping. I've been milling a few more floorboards. Every tree is obviously a different width. So the planks that I make are different widths and I'm trying to get the biggest boards possible to get as much floor space as possible. So I've averaged out my floorboards to widths within a half inch and just try to make the biggest board possible I could within each plank. So now I've sorted all my boards according to width and then I'm gonna make rows of equal widths. But before I put the boards down, I'm just going around and leveling all the floor joists. Some of them are a little higher than others and that could be partly due to just the nature of chainsaw milling having a, a, a slight arch in my rails, but it's also due to the wood drying. Some of these large floor joists I just milled, um, or I felled and milled just this spring, and so they're gonna have a lot of movement to them. And you can see some cracking happening, some checking, and so they're probably doing a little bit of bending and twisting, but they're drying quite quickly without a lot of movement. I checked them all with a moisture meter, and we're around 14, 15%, sometimes even 12%. So uh, they're fairly dry. So I don't expect a whole lot more movement after this. So we're just gonna level them all out. And then we basically start building this big puzzle, trying to make the most use of these boards, kind of fitting it all together. And hopefully we have enough boards to cover the floor. If not, we gotta go get some more trees. Well, it's looking really good, except for I've realized I'm about one third short on boards. So that means I gotta go back to the lumber mill and get some more. And by lumber mill, I mean uh, harvest my own lumber from these trees. We are selectively harvesting off this woodlot in order to uh, help make it a more natural and biodiverse, lawny cultured forest. So uh, what you see here is all white pine and there's not a lot of room for undergrowth, but where we've cleared, uh, we're starting to see ash and black cherry and maple and elder and alder and a bunch of different plant life starting to pop up. And that just creates a better uh, wildlife population. It's a more sustainable long-term forest, uh, better for birds because we have trees that start to produce uh, berries and ultimately just a nicer, more natural forest. So that's what we're doing. That's, uh, and the result of all the trees that we're cutting out, I'm making use of and gonna build this cabin. 